Okay, this video, I have been contemplating whether or not I wanted to post it for like six months. I honestly made this video uh, 1st of June when the customer sent the console to me. Um, it's very negative towards the guy. His name is Draken. Uh, he's kind of infamous in the community just for his terrible mod work and terrible customer relations, super high prices, just everything that could go wrong has went wrong with this guy and one of his customers had a real bad experience and he could not get him to fix it for him so he sent the console to me and this video shows me opening up the console and just gasping at it and uh, I held on to it forever because it's, it's you know it's very negative I didn't really want this kind of negativity on my YouTube channel um, but you know a lot of stuff has happened recently there's a lot of threads um, on a, a few different forums about this guy and his work and um, some other customers that I have not contacted or had contact with have come forward and, and shared their story of the problems that they've had with this guy so it just seems relevant now to put it out there you know I'm not you know I'm not um, starting my own war against the guy it's it's just you know another story that's come through um, this customer that I've dealt with is is currently trying to write up his story and we're possibly he's possibly going to post it on some of these threads um, this video is about as far as I'm going to go with it I've had my own troubles with the guy as well um, you know and I always gave him the benefit of doubt and didn't really go on and try to bash him too much although I've heard he's said some bad things about me which whatever apparently he says bad things about everybody you know and I've I've had my share of problems as well so anyway this is uh, this is what I have seen of his work and how I feel about it and um, a little bit about what's going on with Jim's NES enjoy okay a customer sent this to me um, it's an NES that's been RGB modded but I didn't do it I don't know if anybody will recognize this right off the bat but uh, a modder that goes by the name Draken or whatever however you say it did this and it looks like we have RGB and stereo audio output I believe this is a stereo mono switch and then S video and of course the first thing you see right away is this hot glue on the outside of the console and one thing you don't notice is the it's upside down there's a little mark right there and a little arrow showing top but you have to put it upside down to get it let's see if I can get a little closer you can just see how awful that is and screws were not used on the DIN connector which I find a little bit odd but the reason it got sent to me is we're having problems with it and I'll show that to you here okay so I have Contra playing and I've got S-Video on the LCD and RGB on the PVM and I will hit reset you can see it flash it's not anything that I've played with but it's too dark and S video is all messed up you can see the C changing colors and then it'll be perfect for a second you can see a little bit of interference down in here but then you can see when there's stuff going on all the colors just go haywire but if I pull the RGB then out then it looks perfect and it stays that way okay I put Super Mario Brothers in just so you can see that the the jail bars still exist this is S-Video, of course. I think one of the main reasons 
Um, the guy that paid for all these mods sent it to Draken was because he heard that he did the best RGB mod, which I haven't heard a lot except for what Draken posts in all his threads and all over the forums and on his forum. But uh, we're going to have to open this up and check it out. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to see a shitload of hot glue because that guy is just stupid with that stuff. I mean, you can already tell by that S-Video socket. Anyway, let's dig in. Okay, let's take the top off here. You're shitting me. Missing two screws. What the fuck? Good God. Look at this insanity. That's that's the bottom of the board, I think. Mostly the bottom. There's a whole other side to it. Yeah. Good God. You know, and the, and the customer paid like four hundred dollars for this mod work. Why is the crystal on sockets? Why is everything on sockets? So it's got Jesus Christ. Man, I bet that hot glue goes all the way down. I don't even want to touch this thing. It's a fucking nightmare. I don't understand why this board is not mounted like it's supposed to where where your header pins go into a socket on the motherboard here and then your RGB PPU goes here. That's exactly how I do it. I mean, I don't use this exact board. And I don't know. I think uh, for as much money as the customer gave Draken Draken on to fix it himself. And maybe he'll get a, a clue about insane use of hot glue. Now he'll say, oh well it just it came off. Let's hot glue it back down. Bullshit. I mean I knew it was gonna be bad, but this is just stupid. How do you fix that? I mean, I would just start over completely. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know, man. This is uh, 
way too much to handle. Yeah, I'm gonna contact the customer and say, uh, send it back to him and make him fix it and pay the shipping. It's happened to me. I've I've had shit screw up in the mail, and the customer got real shitty with me and expected me to pay shipping both ways to fix a problem that I didn't cause. And I did. I don't do it every time, but I think it was a. I mean, it was an easy fix, and it was a pretty expensive item. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is to be and why why those two center screws are missing I mean it's not like they're blocked the posts are all there he just he didn't put the screws back in the top shield's gone which that's not a big deal Ugh. yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to put this one on hold and talk to the customer probably wait till after we hear from Draken about fixing this or if he actually does fix it we'll wait till after it's fixed and, and back to the customer before I even post this video this is insanity for four hundred dollars worth of work there's just no way well I think I see why he installed the S video port upside down because it was probably a PCB mount connector and the pins were facing down so if you turn it upside down, the pins will be facing up where you can solder to it. Kind of a piss poor excuse, but I'm sure that's what it is. Anyway, on hold. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon here, but I may have actually found the issue and it was not inside the NES, but on the, uh, whatever this is, DIN 8 or 9 to SCART cord. You'll see this is, I've got it open and you'll see three caps right here for red green and blue and it did have 75 ohm resistors instead of caps there and I knew that was fishy so I looked it up and yes I found this a SCART pinout for like an NTSC Super Nintendo and it showed caps instead of resistors so I put the caps in and oops I made it freeze Anyway, it seems to have much better video here. Ugh. Stupid front loaders. The blacks are blacker and the cars are not all washed out. This video seems to be doing pretty good. It, it really could have been something that simple. I'm not sure if you can make out those geo bars on there, but they're still kind of visible here too. So, in my opinion, all the trouble that Draken is going, uh, going to to get rid of the S to get rid of the S video jail bars is, has been a waste. I know he did a lot of uh, experimentation with like pin 17 on the PPU. I did a little bit of it too, and I didn't find any differences. So to me, really, it was just a, a waste of time. Oops, I am still getting the color variations. So it's going black and white. It's going crazy but it's fine there it's very strange I'll play around a little bit more with it here there's a look at some of the crap that I pulled out of the front loader I mean there's like you know a pound of hot glue in there it's crazy all these wires going all over the place some of them I couldn't even figure out what he was thinking why he needed them and that's just a socket that I cut out. Shit, a little electrical tape. And there's the uh, 
F Lebo kit that he uses. Should be able to salvage salvage it or even reuse it completely, I don't know. We'll see. It's still covered in quite a bit of hot glue. Oh well.